On my interview day, UCL staff made me feel, i say, reassured. I was really nervous at first, but I think it's really helpful to remember that at the end of the day, they're professionals and most importantly, they're humans. They're trying to actually get you into medical school and they're not there to catch you up. So just remember that and uh, as long as you stay focused on the question and actively listen to the interviewer, then you'll be okay. I think it was really important to be yourself at the MMIS because the interviewers are trying to find out what you're like as a person. And so to do that, they need to hear your own experiences. And on the day of your MMI, you want to present your best self. And in my opinion, that's your authentic self because if you're passionate about medicine, it'll shine through on the day of the actual interview. I handled engaging in discussions by demonstrating my understanding of applying a wider medical context. I'd also recommend actively listening to the scenarios before approaching them. Interviewers are not going to penalise you for taking a break. So take a break to think about your answer and articulate your thoughts. When structuring my answers for MMIs, I would give arguments for and against the prompt before providing my own personal view and justifying my reasoning. This allows you to demonstrate your evaluation skills to the interviewers and provides key framework for providing a well-rounded answer. The way I handled my nerves during my MMI was taking deep breaths before my interview and um, it's completely fine if you just need to take a moment to read the question carefully or the prompt because I actually blanked out in one of my interviews with a follow-up question that the interviewer asked me but what I did was just say hey can I take a moment to think about that and that gave me enough time to generate a better answer than what I would have said if I hadn't um, taken the time in the beginning to tell the interviewer so they are completely understanding if you're nervous or anything like that and ultimately practicing will help you stay composed when you are thrown with like an unexpected question or anything like that. The online experience of interviewing was interesting. I was a little bit stressed about the Wi-Fi connection so I double checked that everything is working but then actually on a day it was surprisingly good. Everybody was happy and it was nice to see the people on the other side. So uh, actually it was a great experience to, to be interviewed and to see your future professors. It's important not to share the MMI stations with other people in order to maintain the integrity of the interview and to keep an play, even playing field, um, but also that the different stations will be assessing different things. So if the point of the station is to assess you thinking on the spot, um, it's not going to come across too well if you're just reciting something you've learnt, so that actually might sort of be, it won't be beneficial for you either, so yeah. On reflection, I'd say it was a challenging but an intensely rewarding experience. Uh, it helped me on a personal level to gain confidence in high pressure scenarios uh, and it also helped me uh, in my motivation to pursue a career in medicine in that it gave me the opportunity to address real world issues.